Well, I was in the military and I, I uh, had a foot problem. I was on crutches for five and a half months. And uh, they sent me out in the field with crutches. Uh, and that sort of really kicked me in the rear end and, and said, what am I doing here, you know? And uh, I got depressed and then it really hit me. Um, I was uh, on the mend, but I was feeling really bad for so long that I just crashed. And uh, I ended up at NDMC in the, in the military hospital in the psychiatric ward. And that's when it all started. I withdrew completely. Um, I had numerous uh, suicide attempts um, and I just didn't want to partake in anything. It was uh, really difficult to get up in the morning, which I didn't get up for many times, many months. Once I got out of the forces, um, I, I came to the Royal um, and I met some wonderful professionals. They teach, taught me uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, relaxation, um, and in recent years, they, I've gone to the RAP groups, which is Wellness Recovery Action Plan group. Um, I've just gone to social groups just to learn how to communicate, um, which I lost completely. I never answered the phone when I was sick. I'm a woodworker, and uh, a year ago I, I decided that I was going to make a butterfly for every member of the Client Empowerment Council. And I made them, and, and uh, some fellow opened his mouth and said, hey, look what this guy made. And the foundation uh, ordered a whole bunch of them, and, and uh, I've made over 800 of them <laughs> uh, in my workshop at home. And uh, it was an esteem builder for me, self-esteem builder, and uh, it, it gave me something to do. I've been well for about two and a half years, which is really tremendous for me and my wife and uh, now I can support my family 100% instead of minus five. <laughs>
It takes very little to touch the heart of another person. Just a bit of compassion, a moment's time to listen to them, that's all it takes. What was done for me is something I wish to do for others uh, because I'm very lucky.